Not gonna lie, this episode kind of pissed me off just a little bit, right? It pissed me off just a little bit because I'm just like, there's no fucking way in hell that Verme got caught off guard like that. There's no fucking way she got caught off guard like that. But I had to sit back, relax, and think about it for a second, right? We understand that there's gold squares, platinum squares, and all that shit, and this professor is is one of the most beloved professors in the school according to like students and people really look up to him and it's just like just how powerful is this guy to be able to actually catch verme off guard because we know verme strong as shit verme strong as shit so there's no way in hell that she's gonna get caught off guard by somebody that's beneath her but that legitimately pulls into question just how strong this guy is and funny enough something else that i noticed the student council is also a part of this fucking problem you know what i'm saying especially that student council president as cool as her swordsmanship is right as cool as her swordsmanship is chris was not who she was before she met her you see her saying like especially since you lost to somebody that's beneath you right whispering that to chris because we saw in the flashback with chris and rex that you know chris was really like cool with rex at the time when they was younger and you know he got his egg and shit like that to hatch his big old dino baby and whatnot and you see that they was actually like relatively cool but now it's like something happened that low-key polluted her way of thinking and it's just like what the fuck did that right like what did that i'm surmising right just making the assumption that it was the student council president's influence over her because the student council president comes off as that type of person right she always looks down on people and this old high and mighty ass fucking mindset which there's some on the student council that we've seen that don't give off that vibe to me like they don't give off that vibe to me but there's only a few there who really do and it's like they're the people who are the closest to the president in my opinion now remember in the last video that we did on vermeil and gold i was just like the teacher was the one who was behind this whole shtick right the reason that the girl with the ice magic fucking damn near exploded everywhere right ice magic all over the place and then we had the rex incident where rex was beating the shit out of chris and chris wasn't doing really too much of anything and it was probably because she got caught off guard we noticed that so it makes sense that the next step would be verme right that makes total sense as much as i hate it because it seems so abrupt as much as i hate that shit this in my opinion and of course i'm probably gonna get flamed for this this in my opinion shows like a drastic like gap in power right just like what we thought because the whole conversation between the professor and verme struck me as odd the whole time because he's been searching for this right he's been searching for this why do you think he's been going from student to student familiar to familiar seeing who is able to produce what results and he finally got to what he was looking for i just hate the fact that it had to be verme but like that's gonna be what the story is you know what i mean like that's gonna be what it is going forward i knew something was up the minute verme was just like you know what i'm just gonna go to the dorm and you know lay down i'm a little tired blah 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 type shit from that moment i knew okay the story starts now we've been going along this little low-key world building like character building shit where we're getting to know everyone and all the people that's gonna be like low-key important right the people that are gonna be low-key important we're getting a little bit of background information on them and now we're getting to where the plot starts so at that moment i fucking knew i was just like yeah it, it would make no sense for them to you know prolong it any further because if you prolong it any further that means we will probably get to the end of season one before they decide to like truly pop shit off and try to get people to read it so my bad for that rant i almost choked and died there for a second but my true question is is how did verme not see this coming and bro this this is going to kill 
Alto, bro. This is gonna kill Alto. We already know he felt it, right? The minute she started transforming and stuff and being taken over by whatever he injected in her, some sort of like voodoo black magic type shit, we already knew that Alto was gonna feel it. But bro, this is going to crush his soul because you know Alto, he's always trying to protect somebody. And you pick up on that relatively fast, right? He was always trying to be there for everybody that he cared about and everybody that low-key had an impact on who he is so not being able to like be there for verme when she got into this whole situation of the correlation i'm already knowing that this is gonna kill him inside and man lilia 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 you depraved motherfucker bro every episode we're gonna have a section where we shit talk lilia and her depravity bro like that shit is through the fucking roof and you know fucking alto he just going with the shits because he's just like oh you know this is like a childhood friend type shit right like yeah you just gonna be you you gonna continue to be you and i ain't gonna be able to do shit about it so you know what i'm saying it's whatever and man she was pressing the issue while verme was gone but anyway how are we gonna stop verme that's the true question how are we gonna stop verme because at this point it's like potential unleashed motherfucker like that's what this shit is that's what it comes across as, right? We tapped into her power. She, it's uncontrollable at this point. So what are we going to do, right? How are we going to stop this? That remains to be seen, bro. Is the student council going to be a part of that shit? Are they going to have to stop it? We have a lot to discuss. But anyway, let me know what y'all thought about this episode. Let me know if you are actually still sticking with Vermaine Go. Let me know if it's not up your alley. Let me know if you didn't enjoy this episode. All in the comment section below, man. Y'all got to let me know everything. The good, the bad, the ugly, you know, the old Western film type shit. That's what I'm on. Leave a like if you enjoy. Subscribe if you're new. I might be able to get the Classroom of the Elite episode out later today. Yesterday was like a blur and I don't remember what happened. And on top of that, it was my little brother's birthday. So, you know, we wasn't really doing too much of shit. But yeah, man. With that being said, it's your boy, Damo Senpai. And I will catch you guys in the next video.